Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about identifying the different random sampling technique. So, madalas to gamitin no, sa research, lalong-lalo na sa mga uh, senior high school student. Kasi meron silang subject ng practical research, 1 and 2, quality and quantitative research. Okay, first, uh, define muna natin ano yung ibig sabihin ng population. It is the set of all possible values of a variable or uh, ito yung kabuan no, ng magiging respondents mo. Kabuan, total population. Sample, it is a subset of population. So like for example, class, uh, yung isang buong classroom, uh, yung let's say class of grade 12 STEM knowledge. And then that is composed of 55 students. So, yung 55 students, that is a population. Pero, kapag sinabi nating sample, kukuha ka lang din sa 55 students, let's say, 10 students. So, yung sampo, yun yung sample. Uh, yun yung sample. Yung 55, that's the population. Random sampling, it is sampling method of choosing representatives from the population wherein every sample has an equal chance of being selected. So, accurate data can be collected using the random sampling techniques. Kasi, uh, mas okay yung ganito, yung random sampling to choose your respondents kasi para maiwasan natin yung maging bias tayo sa pagkuha ng respondents. So, meron tayong uh, para fair yung pagkuha natin ng respondents. Probability sampling. So, meron tayong dalawang klase ng random sampling. The probability sampling and the non-probability non -pro, uh, probability sampling. So, sa probability sampling, the sampling techniques that involve random selection. Sa non-probability sampling naman, the sampling techniques that do not involve random selection of data. So, isa-isahin natin. So, first type of random sampling is the simple random sampling. So, ito yung uh, common na ginagamit natin. So, it is a technique. It's the most basic random sampling wherein its element in the population and equal probability or being selected. So, sa kagaya na nakikita nyo sa illustration. No? Halimbawa, meron tayo dito. Okay, this is a representation of a population. So, hindi mo alam kung sino yung magiging respondents mo. So, madalas gamitin no, yung simple random sampling ng mga teachers lalo na kapag uh, graded recitation. ba? Ilalagay yung mga uh, name nyo sa maliit na papel at ilalagay sa box. So, randomly selection ang pagtawag. Para fair, no? Hindi nyo alam kung sino yung mauna. So, makikita nyo sa illustration, makikita nyo sa illustration from the population. So, ang pag-select ng respondents ay hindi nyo alam kasi nga, randomly selected. Okay? So, that is simple random sampling. At isa pa sa mga example nito yung sa loto, no? Yung, di ba, kapag yung parents nyo tumataya ng loto, so hindi nila alam kung ano yung number, yung, ipi, uh, yung number na mapapasama dun sa mananalo. Okay? Kung ano yung number na lalabas. Okay, let's say 645 yan, di ba? May 45 numbers don So, hindi nila alam kung ano yung anim na maswerteng lalabas uh, on that day. At sa piyesta, kapag piyesta, di ba, maraming peryahan, so maraming mga games doon na uh, yung random sampling ay pwede natin i-apply. Systematic random sampling, this can be done by listing all the elements in the population and selecting every key element in your population list. So this is equally precise as the simple random sampling it is often used on long population lists. To determine the interval to be used in identifying the sample to who will participate in the study. So we are going to use this uh, formula, N represented for the population and yung small letter N for sample size. So paano ginagawa yung systematic random sampling class? So for example, yung magiging respondent ng study nyo ay grade 11 students. So, lahat ng grade 11 students, um, kukunin nyo. Ililista nyo ngayon. Uh, let's say, in alphabetical order. Mapababae man at mapalalaki yan. Now, sa systematic random sampling class, 
So like for example, uh, ang gusto mo lang kunin uh, is mga 50 respondents. Kasi let's say yung buong grade 11 student is 500. So sobrang dami no? no It takes time na uh, magsisurvey ka dun sa, 50, uh, sa 500 na respondents. So ang kukunin mo lang ngayon 50. So nahirapan ka kung paano mo iselect yung 50. Ngayon, sabi nga dito, by listing all the elements. So, ililista nyo lahat ng pangalan ng grade 11 students, yung 500 grade 11 students, and then using this formula, so, 500 divide 50, so, ano yung sagot doon? That is 10. So, every 10, okay, so, i ibig sabihin, ang pagkuha nyo ng respondents dun sa listahan, yung every 10th sa respondents, so, yung pang number 10, number 20, pang number 30, pang number 40, pang number 50, or pang number 60. Okay? So, every 10. So, kagaya dito sa ilus, sa picture na nakikita nyo, or dito sa illustration, so, every uh, second, no? Tingnan nyo. Okay, 2, 5, ah, okay, every third pala, every third nung sum, uh, from the population, every third. So, next start siya sa second, so, And then, 5, 8, 11. So, pang every third dun sa population. So, ganun yung systematic random sampling. Yun yung kinaibahan niya sa simple random sampling. Yung stratified random sampling naman, it is a sampling wherein the population is divided into different strata or divisions. So, the number of samples will be proportionately picked in each stratum that is why all strata are represented in the samples okay for example class okay uh, in entire population yung entire population hinati sa apat na grupo okay let's say ito uh, the first one the second third and fourth okay ngayon ang pagkuha mo ng respondents since nakahati nga sila sa apat As magse-select ka ngayon ng equally uh, numbers sa sa bawat uh, ano dito sa bawat groups. So like for example, ito sa unang group, kuha ka ng isa. Sa pangalawang group, kuha ka rin ng isa. Sa pangatlong group, kuha ka ng isa at sa pang-apat na group, kuha ka rin ng isa. So ganito yung stratified random sampling. So from the population, uh, ihati-hati mo sila. No? Ba, depende kung ilang groups. Let's say uh, Ano yan? Uh, halimbawa yung inaaral mo is yung galing sa mat. No? So, yung mga magagaling sa mat. So, pwedeng uh, itong unang group. Titingnan mo kung uh, ano ba yung, ano, let's say yung multiple intelligence. No? So, itong grupo na to ay good in dancing or they are intrapersonal, interpersonal or they are Uh, ano ano pa yung mga ibang multiple intelligence na meron tayo yung mathematical ability no mas magaling sila or linguistic okay mathematical logical so pwede yung uh, i-group natin no i-group natin yung entire population sa ganon and then pag nag-group na natin saka kayo kukuha ngayon ng respondents ito yung kinaibahan naman ng stratified random sampling Yung isa naman is yung cluster sampling. Sa cluster sampling naman is a random sampling wherein population is divided into cluster or groups. And then, the cluster are randomly selected. All elements of the clusters randomly selected are considered the sample of the study. Ngayon class, uh, hahatiin nyo yung population, yung clustered population. So, depende kung ilang clustered yung gagawin nyo. Ang pagkuha ngayon uh, by group, no? By, by group halimbawa, ilan dito meron tayong anim na clusters. Okay, meron tayong anim na clusters. So ang kinuha mo itong clusters na to at itong clusters na to. So sa cluster na to, lahat ng kasama diyan sa cluster na 'yan ay magiging respondents. At yung dito rin, kung lahat ng kasama dito sa cluster nito ay maging respondents. Hindi kagaya kanina sa stratified, no? Sa stratified, lahat ng grupo, no? Lahat ng grupo 
kukuhaan mo ng respondents. Dito sa cluster sampling, so, klinaster natin uh, yung entire population. So, kung ang mapili mo is itong cluster na to at itong cluster na to, lahat ng kasama dyan sa cluster ay magiging respondents. Okay? So, meron tayong tinatawag rin na non-probability sampling. So, yung mga non-probability sampling, the first is the convenience sampling. So, wherein the researcher gather data from nearby sources of information exerting minimal effort. So, ito yung ba, kapitbahay mo, no? mabilis mong ma mapuntahan. Convenience is being used by person giving questionnaires on the streets to ask the passers-by. Okay, uh, kadalasan, di ba, minsan marami kayong uh, nakikita regarding may mga nagpapasurvey, lalo na sa mga fast food. no Sa fast food, of course, yung gusto nila, tingnan yung level of satisfaction ng customers nila. So, pwede yun. Sa convenience sampling class, let's say ito, no, pinapakita sa picture dito, halimbawa ito yung researchers, then ito yung mga uh, possible na respondents. Nyo. Ngayon, ang kukunin niya lang class ay yung pinakamalapit sa kanya. Yung pwede niyang puntahan agad, no? hindi yung uh, biyabiyahe pa siya. Tingnan niyo class, so, hindi, ito lang yung mga kinuha niya, yung malapit sa kanya. Itong nakadilaw, so ito, yan. Itong blue, saka itong tatlo. So itong ito, saka ito, yan, hindi niya kinuha kasi malayo na sa kanya. So yan yung idea ng convenience sampling. Yun nga, sabi nga kanina, is a gather data from nearby sources. Okay? Or pwede nga yan, uh, bibigay mo lang sa mga dumadaan. O kaya yung uh, na... I think na encounter nyo yung mga fast food no nagbibigay sila ng mga survey form regarding sa sa level of satisfaction no kung meron pa ba silang gustong uh, or meron silang complain that is an example of convenience sampling next is the snowball sampling or chain referral sampling It is defined as a non-probability sampling technique in which the samples have traits that are rare to find. This is a sampling technique in which existing subject provide referrals to recruit samples required for the research study. Dito class, uh, let's say ito yung researcher, uh, may, yung gusto niyang study, hanggat hindi niya nakukuha yung gusto niyang result dun sa study niya, kukuha siya ng kukuha ng respondents. So, halimbawa, kung dito sa dalawa, parang hindi pa siya satisfied sa results, magdadagdag siya ngayon. Okay, dadagdag siya. Kung di, uh, once na nagdagdag siya at di pa rin siya satisfied dun sa result, kukuha pa rin siya ng another respondents. Hanggang sa ganyan karami na yung uh, respondents. So, ganyan yung snowball sampling, no? A chain's referral sampling is defined on a non-probability sampling technique in which the samples have traits that are rare to find. So, ito yung kinaibahan ng snowball sampling sa convenience sampling. Next is the quota sampling. So, quota sampling, this is a sample units, are picked for convenience but certain quotas are given to interviewers. This design is specially used in market research. Researchers choose these individuals according to specific traits or qualities. So kagaya nga sa picture class, halimbawa, uh, nakafocus ka lang no, sa mga lalaki na above 50. So kukunin mo lang dito from the population no, yung mga uh, respondents na male na above 50. So that is the quota sampling. Another is the volunteer sampling. These sample units are volunteers in studies wherein the measuring process is painful or troublesome to our respondents. So, uh, ito ay kusa. No? Yung mga respondents, they are willing. So, kusa sila, nag-volunteer sila na maging respondents mo. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple yon. So, I'll give you five question class, no, to test yourself, no. Tingnan natin kung uh, naintindihan niyo yung different kinds of random sampling. So, 
bibigyan ko kayo ng uh, isang minuto para sagutan. O kaya i-stop nyo muna yung video na to and then o kaya i-post nyo muna at saka i-play na lang kapag uh, gusto nyo nang malaman yung sagot. Okay, I'll give you five questions. You're going to identify which sampling method is applied in the following situation. Number one, the teacher randomly selects 20 boys and 15 girls from a batch of learners to be members of a group that will go to a field trip. Number two, a sample of 10 mice are selected at random from a set of 40 mice to test the effect of a certain uh, medicine. Number three, the people in a certain seminar are all members of two or five groups are asked what they think about the president. Number four, a brand manager of a toothpaste as ten de uh, dentists that have clinic closest to his office whether they use a particular brand of toothpaste. Number five, a barangay health worker as every four house in the village for the ages of the children living in those household. Okay, so I'll give you uh, one minute to answer. Okay, so pwede nyo i-post yung video habang yung sinasagutan nyo and then play nyo na lang. Alright, so the answer for number 1 is stratified sampling. For number 2, simple random sampling. Number 3, cluster sampling. Number 4, convenient sampling. And number 5, systematic sampling. So if you got 5, congratulations. So pwede nyo i-share yung score nyo, yung nakuha yung score sa comment section ng video na to. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.